Well, there you have it. Time now for the individual competitions to come to their conclusion here in Lily Short in the compound division. We start with the compound women's bronze medal match. Coaches and judge already out. It's time to welcome the athletes to the range. So there we go, the athletes are out. 23-year-old uh, Lisel Yatma on the left on target number one. It's world number four from Estonia. Shot a 700 in the ranking round to be ranked first. Goes up against Archery Dream Club's Andrea Robles. Uh, I understand she's from the Philippines and ranked 197th in the world. Chef, surely this has got Lisel Yatma written all over it. It does. On the other hand, uh, Andrea apparently uh, found it worthwhile to fly all the way to Europe from the Philippines to shoot this tournament. So she must be in good shape if she is willing to do that. So again, we're looking for a cumulative score here. Yatma starting with a, a nine. I'll shoot alternatively. Oh, now that's close. Is it a cutter? Is it a line cutter, Chef? I think so, but uh, I'm I'm starting to get more and more afraid of making line calls because of your uh, <laughs> judging eyes. <laughs> that one is. That's a bit of a hiccup, I'd say. It's not too far out. Nine. A little bit of a dip. A dip meaning uh, her uh, bow hand kind of dropped right before the release went off, and you could see that she had a reaction to it. Eight. Ooh. A little bit of movement there from the pair of them uh, in that uh, first end. Conditions, perhaps a tiny bit windier at the shooting line. Yeah, but not much. It doesn't seem like it, at least. Uh, sometimes there's more wind than uh, is visible with the naked eye, but, uh, I mean, it, it looks quite calm there. You can see Liesel's hair is just fluttering a little bit, but nothing too crazy. So, a nerves a factor here, do you think? Yeah, maybe. Um, so, Liesel obviously uh, has cemented her place in the top of the world scene, um, which puts some pressure on your shoulders. If you're going into a competition uh, on a continental level, you kind of want to show that you're at a world level. So, that puts some pressure on you. Um, I'm sure Andrea has, uh, has added pressure for just coming over for a competition that far from home. Um, so, yeah, it might be nerves. Well, 26 plays uh, 28. Archery Dream Club's Robles from the Philippines will shoot first in the second end. But there's uh, a little bit in this for sure. Both athletes um, showing there's uh what they're trying to handle the nerves or the conditions out here in the little shore Nine. all of her arrows are below the center line now so i think it would be advisable to move her aside a bit
Just a bit of movement there from Yatma. And again, dropping just out of the gold. Not really what you want to do against the number four of the world, but... Ten. So a bit of a slow start, but... Uh, Liesel seems to be finding the middle at least closer and closer to it. Um, I think Andrea uh, needs to pick up the pace if she wants to uh, stay in this match. Yeah, I, I tend to agree with you. J just for a point of fact, uh, that uh, arrow was marked up in the first end for Robles 28-27 uh, after the first, but uh, as you say, Chef, uh, Lisel Yatma showing her experience and just opening that lead up by uh, two points after uh, the first two ends. Uh, looking pretty solid. It's a family affair, isn't it, in Estonia? Yeah, it is. Uh, her mom is uh, behind her coaching her. And then uh, she has a, a little brother, I think. I think it's a little brother, um, who is also at a very high level of shooting. So they do uh, tend to go out with the whole family, yeah. Yeah, Robin Yatma, as uh, you're alluding to. Yeah. They team up for mixed team competitions. I wonder if they teamed up here. I'm not entirely sure, to be honest with you. Start of the third. So, not low anymore, which is good. Lizelle going low into the nine. And you're right, uh, Chef. Brother Robin is uh, a year younger. He is the little brother. And uh, it's Marika <laughs> in the box coaching uh, her daughter. Another line call there for uh, Andrea. Yeah, I think I'll leave this one to the judges. It's for <laughs> me. It's too close to call right now. So the interesting difference here is that uh, Liesel has a group in the middle and then a group that's slightly low, whereas Andrea mostly is low, and then she'll also have a bit of spray uh, over the rest of the gold. So there's a, a bit of a difference there in, the, in group size, but also the shape of the group. Um, to me, that would indicate that Liesel is more comfortable at the moment. She's just uh, shooting good arrows and then making a mistake every once in a while, where Andrea might be just a bit more nervous and, and struggling to find her shot in uh, the general sense. Yeah, and if you look at the uh, performance trajectory, it's the 28, 28 and 29 from Yatma. Two 27s with uh, tens and eights in the first two ends for Robles. A 27 with three nines, subject to confirmation, of course, in the third end. I think it has a chance to hit the line, but I, d I 
wouldn't be able to tell you if it actually did before the judge tells us. No, even I didn't ask you about that one. It was uh, just a little bit too close. And the angles, the angles can play uh, tricks on you as well, can't they? The, and the, the light, of course, the shadows that the arrows form in the target. Uh, so we tick up to uh, midday, the highest point of the sun in the sky. We're still actually waiting for that confirmation of the score, but uh, clearly Robles is behind there. It was marked up to a 10. So an 82 for uh, Robles. I think her arrow fell off her wrist when she pulled back her bow, so she has like five seconds left now. And again, a low nine. But I don't see any moving of the sight unless she's doing it when we're not watching, which is a possibility. X10. So just you can see after they shoot we get a nice view on their target and you can see the double group here that I was talking about one group in the X or 10 and then a group in the low 9 and then looking at Andrea's target you can see it is kind of almost pear shaped where she has a couple 10s and then she goes low most of the time she just nods like okay it makes sense that it's low but uh, even if you're consistently shooting bad shots and hitting low, you want to, in a, a place like this, in the final, you want to choose to shoot bad shots in the middle, right? So you adjust your sight. Perfect for uh, Lissel Yatma for a 115. So uh, this is the intriguing thing, I think, for, for, for most people that aren't archers and don't shoot as regularly as you do or have done in the past chef you're all perfectionists it's not just getting the 10 it's also shooting a, an arrow that you're happy with right yeah in in training setting yes but i think if you get to the point <clears throat> where you're in a gold medal match like andrea and lisel right now um you kind of don't want to think about okay i want to shoot perfect shots or at least that was not my mental process my mental process was Whatever it takes, this arrow needs to go in the middle. Um, if that means I shoot a bad shot, but it still hits the middle, that's mission success. So, <laughs> um, it, yeah, for me, I would say, even if she is acknowledging, like, okay, this arrow went low in the nine because I did this or that, um, and she's doing that consistently, then I would still adjust my sight and just shoot mm. those bad arrows and hit the middle anyways because now she's just throwing away score by having a group that's low in the nine. Yeah, and again, I am not her coach. No, but it is an interesting point that, uh, like you say, in training the idea is perfection, but on the uh, in, a, in a medal match, it's just about getting the, the biggest score at the end in, in the case of compound archery. Big gap here as we go into the uh, final end, three arrows left for each archer, Robles trailing by five. These all really has seemed to found a groove now. Yeah, seventh, uh, ten in a row for her. Nine. Making that adjustment. Ten. Good finish, good strong finish. I'd be interested to see uh, some uh, analytics on uh, if she would have moved her group, how many points would she have shot uh, if it were in the middle. 
There's a, there's yes. an app that can do that, but I uh, yeah. don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there is. Uh, let's not advertise anything just yet, though. Uh, exactly. Great win for uh, Lissel Yatmar, 145 uh, to finish off there out of a, a possible 150. Uh, very strong from the start. Uh, went with ranking and experience.